What is going on guys? Just wanted to show you a couple applications here that you can use with the new MacBook Pro with Touch Bar. Just take advantage of it. So the first one is going to be found on this website here. It's by the um, well, iOS engineer, uh, Julian Fain. I believe that's how you pronounce it. If, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But it's julianfain.com. And you could download it right here. It's called Rocket, uh, and you could download it. There's these are the different versions here that are out. This is the latest build, version 0.7, and uh, just lets you load applications. Um, you could do different customization techniques with it with the Touch Bar. You could also use that folder shortcuts as well. So you download that, you're good to go. Uh, very good one. The next one is by imore.com. It's called Touch Switcher for Touch Bar. And it's a similar app, uh, but it gives you a dedicated um, app switcher, I guess, button in, in, in the touch bar. So that's pretty neat as well. There's also other stuff you could download uh, on that site. These are mainly just for show, nothing more than that. But uh, the one that's actually useful, I would say, would be this one here, touch switcher for touch bar. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go off camera now, and we're going to show you how they work. Okay, guys, so once you have those applications downloaded, they take no time at all, um, you could go ahead and use them. So for the first one here, Rocket, just make sure you have the little Rocket, uh, it's like a little Rocket Ship logo up in the taskbar. Once that's in there, you could go ahead and use it by doing the keyboard command, which is going to be command and the key right beside one. So you just hit that and you'll see your applications here. These are the last used applications right off the bat. And then you have a folder beside it and then the dock here. So if you want to click the folder, you can go ahead and customize your folders, like documents, downloads, etc., applications, and that's pretty neat. So if you wanted to go into your downloads, you could, you know, have a dedicated, you know, folder to go into. So it's pretty cool. Um, you could also hit the dock icon here, and you could go ahead and launch your applications from your dock. Another cool thing is you'll see highlights around the applications that you have open. So it shows you what you have open. And I mean, it's pretty cool. You could go ahead and uh, increase your productivity by doing this. If you have like a full screen app open and you're doing multiple things, it's just another way to utilize that. So I thought that was a pretty neat feature to use, you know, to use a touch bar. Um, the other one is going to be called Touch Switcher for Touch Bar. And that one's pretty cool as well. It's got a dedicated um, key down here, for example. So you'll see this. It looks like the App Store logo. You go ahead and press that. And then it shows your um, open apps right here. So it's pretty neat. They're all in beautiful color on the OLED display. And everything that's uh, a little bit dark there is not open. So like I said, you can go ahead and launch applications this way and save yourself some time. And everything that's open will be in the front here. Uh, you could also go ahead and go to settings, do a little bit of customization as well. Uh, nothing much yet, but when the... Uh, I believe it's in beta right now. Once it becomes the full version, I'm sure there'll be more to do as well. So again, it's just a pretty cool uh, way to utilize uh, the touch bar. Um, so for example, like I said, if you're in a full screen application, like uh, whatever, Safari, Chrome, whatever you use, Firefox. Um, so let's make this full screen here. Uh, you can go ahead and just use it fast. Hit this. You want to load your last you know, used app here. Safari, there's your tabs, blah, blah, blah. Um, you want to load back into Chrome. There's Chrome, so it's pretty cool. Again, if you wanted to use um, this guy here, um, uh, what's it called, Rocket, you could do the same. So you could just load something. So say, for example, I wanted to load my N64, which is 64. So we'll just load into a ROM here, Super Mario 64. It's me, Mario! So same thing, instead of like closing, hitting escape, whatever, you just hit this really quick and you could launch into, say you had a download on uTorrent, you could check out uTorrent right there. You want to go back into your N64, just go ahead and press your N64, you're back in there. So it's a pretty cool feature. I mean, there's going to be more applications in the near future and I'm just looking forward to them. So check these two applications out. The links are in the description and we'll see you in the next video. Okay guys, take care.